Hi everyone. So we're going to have few videos uh, on some theoretical contents and we're not going to do any practice for this uh, for the examples, but wherever we want to use this in our project, we will. So uh, for the rest of the videos for this section, you know, will be without an example. And if you uh, just want to refer to the slides, uh, those are available in, 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 in the resources for download, which uh, I believe you must have downloaded those already. And if you want to follow along with me and go through the contents, uh, uh, and, and, and this would be purely the theoretical content. So yeah, that's okay. So built-in modules, so that's what we're gonna cover over here. So these SAS uh, built-in modules, uh, they contain uh, really very useful functions and we load these modules uh, with at use rule. Uh, like we can do with any user defined style sheet so we can uh, load these modules as well with at use uh, all the built-in modules urls begin with sas and then the column yeah so these are the ones uh, i've given those in the table sas color uh, list you know uh, to access and modify the lists color is for uh, setting manipulating or getting the colors uh, map is the we know that what is map map is also ls but like there where we have uh, the key value pairs and then the math uh, sas math module is there to provide the math mathematical functions uh, meta is there uh, we would see what what, what this is uh, about uh, in the in, in the slides to come and then sas selector so like uh, you get more power 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 in terms of selecting uh, the elements uh, uh, with with the help of this module and then string is their sas string uh, which makes it easy to combine search or split apart strings yeah so we'll start with the first one that is sas color so basically we can divide it into three main parts there are functions related to setting the colors and then getting the colors and then manipulating those yeah so if we look at uh, and some of those we have already seen we have already used those uh, not only in sas but in css as well so like rgb we have to define red green and blue and it sets up the color and then we can have that with the help of alpha as well where alpha can be a value between zero and one whereas red green and blue values are between 0 and 255 the same way we can set the colors with the help of hsl and hsla so basically hsl is hue saturation and uh, what is e is uh, sorry l l is for lightness and uh, 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 hue is the degree on color wheel from 0 to 360 degrees where uh 360 uh, 0 or 360 would be red 120 is green and 240 is blue there are plenty of tools available to to, to set the colors uh and we just simply need to pick those values and use those but if we are using hsl color so here uh, we have to use this function yeah and of, uh, again a stands for alpha which controls the opacity of the color uh, then grayscale, uh, whatever the color we pass uh, to that, so it would uh, set a grayscale tone for that. Complement colors uh, would be setting a complementary color of the provided color. So I would urge that uh, just provide some color, and use the function, and see like you know what are the results like to 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 see like you know how this works. Invert. Uh, color and weight so inverts would simply in uh, you know have the opposite color of it like if you're asking for an invert color of white that would be black and vice versa yeah looking at the get color functions so if i if i have a color you know and i want to get the red value of it so let's say i provide the red color itself and ask for a red value of it so it would give me a value between 0 and 255 the same applies for green and blue so it would give us the appropriate corresponding value for that color between 0 and 255 the same applies for hue saturation and lightness so if we want to, to, to check what is the hue or what is the saturation or what is the lightness for a color we can get that okay so hue would be coming in degrees and saturation would be in percentage and lightness would be in percentage as well 
Uh, then we have uh, if we want to check alpha uh, or opacity both do the same thing so that would give us a value between 0 and 1 so this is like kind of get color functions so uh, before we saw the set color functions so in get color functions we can check what is the value of alpha or opacity if we need to then we have manipulate color functions and for that uh, we can mix the two colors with the help of weight uh, parameter as well so this would create a new color uh, by mixing these two colors and the weight parameter can be between 0% and 100% so a larger weight would mean that more of color 1 should be used a smaller weight, weight would mean that more of color 2 should be used and default is anyway 50% if we want to adjust the hue by certain degrees we can use this adjust hue parameter uh, sorry adjust hue function and if we need to adjust the color so one or more parameters by the specified amount so then the then we can use this adjust color function yeah change color uh, so sets one or more parameters of a color to the new values yeah so more or less like you know adjust and change are uh, doing pretty much almost the same thing yeah so we, like uh, in the adjust color it would actually this it, it would actually add or subtract the specified amount uh, for to or from the existing color value so if the existing color value is 200 and we are adjusting it by 25 so that means that the new value would be 225 yeah the change color would whatever the value about the parameter we would pass that would like you know without any addition or subtraction that the new value would be set actually to that particular value then uh, uh, we have lighten and darken this is very handy this is a very useful function so if we need to lighten a color by a certain amount like by certain percentage between zero and hundred percent and the same applies for darken uh, that's the opposite of the lighten of course uh, the same thing for the saturation and desaturation so we can use saturate and desaturate and the amount would be again between zero percent and hundred percent opacify or fade in yeah so it would create a more opaque color yeah uh, with an amount by zero and one by increasing the alpha channel with whatever the amount we specify in there and then transparentize or fade out so that would be the opposite of opacify or fade in so it would create a more transparent color with an amount by zero and one uh, and, and it would decrease basically the alpha channel with whatever the by the specified amount yeah so basically this was about uh, all about the color functions so that's it for this video thank you so much for being with me and i'll see you in the next one